calling the birds. They're coming. Hi, Michelle. Oh, there he is. Yes. Hello, hello. I have my bird feeder. I have a message for everybody. It's exciting. Thank you, thank you. So this is the third transmission video. My transmission videos are going to be me explaining what I see as a seer. So the first two, you can check them out. They're on my page. This third one, um, I actually was going to do it yesterday, but I needed some rest after... Um, doing reading and some teaching and stuff so I'm here today because it's been really uh, burn medicine has always been part of me um, <clears throat> along with my other shamanic work um, I connect heavily to them um, I was gonna originally do this video with my uh, turkey wing but today I went to the store because part of this was me buying bird seed wild bird feed technically um, because the birds have been calling um, I don't know if anybody's noticed that there's birds like seagulls places they're not normally um, there's more crows together there's more hawks together um, I've definitely noticed that um, to me this is kind of like banding together um, I've heard them calling at different hours than normal um, actually I've heard them at like one, two in the morning, which is not normal around here anyways. Um, to me that speaks to, you know, everybody's in the house. Nobody's like out and about in their daily life, whatever. Some people are, I know I'm working every day, um, and other people are, uh, but not everybody is out as much. So there's not as much scraps of food fallen when you're out and you're getting takeout, whatever. You're getting drive through your things happen. Like, see, you know where seagulls usually go. They're usually at the beach. They're usually in certain parking lots. But I've been noticing them in places I've never noticed them before. I don't know if any of you have. Um, I just left. I went to Job Lot to get the bird seed, and uh, there was like eight. Cro I was gonna do it in that parking lot, but it just didn't feel right. I wanted to be home. Already have my bird feeder that I got while I was there um, to appease the birds, um, and they're all kind of everywhere right now. Um, and there was just so many. There was so many. I couldn't believe how many. So to me, as somebody who connects with birds, I just kind of feel their pain. And if you're able to, I mean, I know I like to leave when I have to throw produce away or usually only produce. Obviously, I don't like to throw meat outside and stuff like that. That can go in the trash. But um, when I have to throw out lettuce or produce or things I feel the animals of the yard can eat, I will leave it in a certain place in the yard so they're not all over. Um, but I've been called lately to tell people to put things outside for the birds. Like, I mean, they're kind of deprived from us being inside so much, from us not out and about. And I think that we can do a little bit to help. Um, hi, Inez. How are you? I'm telling everybody they need to, like, feed the birds. And you like to feed the stray cats. I really like how the sun is doing that. You can see it like that. You can't see it that way. So let's look at it with the trees in front of me. Um, yep, the birds have been so loud every morning during the past week. Have they been, um, squawking in the middle of the night? Not normally doing that, but they do that now. And I feel like they're hungry. I feel like they're not used to, and I feel like they're not used to no people around as well. Um, I don't know. It's just a lot. So I went and I got a big bag. Look at this bag. I spilled a lot while I was it. 
So I spilled a lot. I got this huge bag for eight bucks. I mean, I think we can spare eight dollars for some birdies. Um, don't feed them bread. Um, I don't approve of that. <laughs> um, but you know, berries, that's good. Like old berries, things like that. Like you, you know, I just feel like the birds need attention. If the birds aren't here, our ecosystem isn't going to be doing that well. This is what I want people to understand. Um, working with birds is just, it's just a beautiful thing. And I think everybody should connect. I think that if you leave some feed for them, make sure it's wild bird feed. I mean, even dried oh, sunflower seeds, something like that. If you have some in your cabinet that you haven't been eating because they went stale and they're just sitting there, put them out for the birds. Come on, man. You're just wasting space in that cabinet. Um, that's just like kind of the message I wanted to put out there. I think everybody should connect with the medicine of birds and understand when they're not doing that well either because they're around us, they're part of our surroundings. I think we should help them out. I mean, when it gets warmer, what are they going to do? They're going to eat the bugs for us. So why don't we keep them alive? You know? Not that I've noticed. Well, I feel like you might notice now, Inez, <laughs> because I know I have. I've been waking up at like 2, 3 in the morning sometimes. Things have been, I mean, I've, some nights I've fallen asleep a little early, so I wake up at 1, 2 in the morning, and I notice them out. Like, eh. And usually they're not. Not in my yard anyways. Like, I know the birds in my yard. And to me, they feel distressed, okay? <laughs> so I hope all of you understand what I'm trying to say here. Um, I hope you all can do your part to help the birds around your home. Um, because I know it's, it's beautiful energy to connect with them. And I hope more people do. Um, yeah, I hope you share this message and do a little part and get a cheap little bird feed because all they need something is to land on and grab it. So throw it in your yard. You don't even have a feeder. Have a great day, everybody. Blessings, peace, love, and I will see you very soon. Bye.